Good personal movement skills are key to moving around the hills safely and efficiently. And there's a lot of situations when you're moving around in a hill in the snow with, with your axe, with and without crampons, where taking a fall isn't really an option. However, you, it is possible to trip and when you do trip you want to be able to have a good chance of effectively arresting that slide. So what we're going to look at is a technique called self-arrest and we'll look at how to efficiently arrest a slide on steep snow. So what we're going to look at is how you get into this position. So regardless of which way you fall, you want to end up in this position and this is where you'll actually start breaking and stopping your, your fall or your slide. So what you're looking at here is my hand covering the sharp pointy bit, the, the spike on the base of the axe. I'm looking down the line, the shaft of the axe, and by doing that, that keeps my face away from the ads. I've got my knees wide apart and my feet up, because most of the time, chances are you'll be wearing crampons. Where I've got the axe, here, as I'm holding the top of the ads, and then what I've got is the ads tucked in, there's a, a wee soft fleshy bit just underneath the collarbone. So I've got the axe in that position, and effectively, what I was doing was this. So covering the spike, looking down the shaft of the axe. Once we're in that position, that's just then starting to break the slide. The challenge for in a lot of cases is going to be getting into that position. But what we'll do to begin with, is this, this is key to successful self-arrest, is we'll look at how we actually start breaking effectively. So what we're going to do is just get into the breaking position. So I'm in my breaking position, but if I lift my head up, you can see that I start lifting the axe out. So what I'm going to do is lift the axe out. So by lifting my head up, what that does is keeps us clear and allows me to apply gradual pressure. The last thing you want to do is just dig the pick in because if you are moving fast, chances are you could lose the axe. So what we want to do is get the axe in position and then gradually break. So how's that going to look in practice? Well, hopefully something like this.